Hello everyone, it's Sarah here from Sarah's Nail Secrets and in today's video I'm going to do a really easy gel polish on top 3D sweater type design for fall and winter. So to start we have to apply on the nail first. So I'm applying an extreme length tip and shortening it to a tapered square. And then I'm just going over the tip to blend it in to the nail. When I'm happy with the shape, I cleanse it and then I go ahead and start applying my dehydrator and primer. And then I'm going to build this nail with a cover pink. So I'm just using the Peacher Belt Soft. And I'm just applying this on the tip to start and then I'm going to build this up. So instead of using colored acrylic and then encapsulating in clear, I'm just building the nail all up in cover pink. So all the core powders can be used for full nails and you don't need to encapsulate them. So I'm not really trying to build this up yet. I'm just putting this down to get coverage and then I will create my apex and build up my tip. So now I'm applying my cuticle bead. I bend the finger down slightly, which will help the product go downward and not just bleed into the cuticle area. I'm using the tip of my brush to push the product close to the cuticle area while keeping some distance from the skin, patting and pulling the product down and blending it into the bottom of the nail. The brush I'm using is the Glitter Bells number 10 and I'm using the Glitter Bells Violet Monomer as well. So I picked up a bead here, I placed it on the tip area I'm blending it upward by turning my brush upside down and now I'm just patting the rest of the product trying to make it nice and even at the tip. You don't want to make the tip too thin especially when they're this long or you could break it. And this is how it looks from the side. So I'm going to let this dry a bit and then I'm going to go in with my fingers and slightly pinch the nail. So if you're a beginner to pinching this is a good way you wait till the nail is half dry and then you just use your, your fingers to pinch it. And then you can move on and learn how to use the pinching tools. So now after this is fully dry, I'm going in and finish filing these. I want to thin out the tip and the side walls and the cuticle area while keeping my apex in place. Then I'm going over and I'm buffing this nail because I realized it wasn't soft enough and I didn't want any scratches. But you don't want it to be too buffed either, so just a little buff over the surface. I've cleansed the nail and the gel I'm going to go in with is called Pass the Grapes. You see me here wiping off a lot of the product. You want to go in on your first coat really, really thin. You don't need this to be thick or anything because you're going to build the color up on your second coat. So always apply your gel polish really thin to start, especially for your first coat. So I like to push it up near the cuticle area. I'm wiping off my brush. You just can't see me doing that off camera. And then I'm using the very side of my brush to get into the corner of the cuticle area. You can see me doing that very carefully here. And avoid touching the skin because then the gel will want to go there. So you can see the less on your brush, the easier it is to get nice close application to the cuticle and skin. It's not going to be a perfect application because it's just nice and thin. We're going to cure that and then you can go in and build the color up. Again, you're not going to make it too thick or else it will wrinkle when you try to cure it. So after that, I gave that a cure and now I'm top coating these nails. So you can top coat with a matte top coat or you can use a shiny top coat and then buff it matte. But make sure that you have a matte nail when doing your sweater. So I'm just going to cleanse that nail before working on our sweater and then I'm applying the same Pass the Grapes color on a side palette. And the brush I'm using here is from one of the three pack liner brushes. It's the medium brush. And then I also am going to need the glass slippers clear for this design. So first you're going to kind of draw like a little, you can see here, like a line down and then an S. Kind of like a sloppy S. So I'm just doing two at a time and then I'm sprinkling clear acrylic into that wet gel. So this isn't cured yet, it's nice and wet. So you're gonna wanna sprinkle a lot of wet acrylic into that. You're gonna wanna cure that and then you're gonna wanna cleanse it. So after you've cleansed it, I'm just picking up a little bit more product here. That's too much, so I'm just showing you. You're just gonna wanna pull it off so you have less on your brush. Instead of having one side of your brush have most of the product on it, this way your brush has a consistent amount of product on it, which will help your strokes be really consistent. 
So I do this design in steps, as you can see, giving that a cure and then I cleanse it and then I'm going in and doing that again for the bottom little bit of this super easy so after you get these down you can actually build them up and make them thicker or bigger I just like to do them nice and thin because that's just the style I was going for but you can definitely build these up and make them more 3d if you want to I'm gonna be doing some lines on the side of the sweater so I'm gonna be switching my brush to this long liner brush from glitter bells and I'm just doing one long line on the side and then covering it with the clear acrylic and curing it so I did that on both sides and then I'm going in and kind of copying the center design but just doing them on the side and then I also repeat that and mirror it on the other side as well After the design has been fully cured, here's a close-up of how that sweater nail looks. Nice and 3D. So remember, you can build this up if you want to to make it thicker and more 3D. And you could do this in any color you want as well. So it's super fun and super versatile. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give a video a thumbs up and check out the other videos. See you guys next time. Bye.